What's up guys, John here and welcome back to John Moon Studios. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use your profile manager inside of Cubase Pro. Unfortunately, all the other versions of Cubase will not work with this. This is only available for the Cubase Pro version. But if you do have the Pro version, then you're going to want to keep this inside of a USB stick or on some kind of cloud storage. So let's get right to it. So if you don't know what a profile manager is, it's essentially something you can save that saves your preferences, toolbar settings for all windows, global workspace, track control settings, track control presets, presets for input and output buses, plugin collections, quantize presets, crossfade presets, and key commands. All of this is saved onto a file with the file extension name .srf. And the reason as to why you wanna save a profile manager is because let's say you're working on multiple computers or multiple workstations, and the preference that you're currently using aren't the ones you're used to because you've designed your key commands, you designed certain toolbar selections inside of Cubase that you're used to seeing, and you want to move these onto another machine. So that way you can control this version of of Cubase with what you're used to. So the place we find the project manager is we're gonna go to edit and we're gonna go all the way down to where it says profile manager. And then here you see that I already have a John Moon CU for Cubase and I've saved this as my profile manager. So anytime I load this specific file into any of the Cubase machines that I'm using, that's not my machine, it's going to save everything that you see on my screen, the way I have my toolbars, the way I have my key commands and any other, you know, things that were included in the list that I mentioned at the beginning of this example is going to be loaded into the new machine. And now you're pretty much working like if you were working from home, this is super, super important because you can speed up workflow. So the advantages of this is let's say you're working at a friend's house and you need to finish a track for a deadline that's due at midnight. So you're going to load up your profile manager onto his machine and now you can use his version of Cubase like if you were using your version of Cubase at home. So as soon as you create one, you can just hit new. This is going to prompt a naming scheme. So you could just put whatever you want. So I'm just going to put John Moon test. And then I'm going to hit OK. You're going to see that now it's currently saved what I have at the moment. So if I click John Moon test and I hit activate profile, Cubase is going to ask me to completely quit the application so that when it boots up again, it can now come up with the settings that you already had saved when you created the profile manager. Of course, if I go ahead and close it now and I boot it up now, it's going to be the same thing because I've already created my profile manager. So the test is the same as the CU version, but essentially you get the idea. You can also import and export these um, profile managers so that you can have it saved on a USB stick or some kind of cloud storage. So again, if you're working at a friend's house, you can either pull it up with your USB stick that you're going to take everywhere with you, or you can just put it on a Google Drive or a Dropbox and then download the SRF file. And then what you're going to do is you're going to find it on your computer. You hit import and then it's going to prompt the location. You just bring it in and then it's going to show up on this list. Hit activate profile, quit Cubase, boot it up again, and now you're working on your profile manager inside of Cubase Pro. It's just as simple as that. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop your comments down below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the ring button so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Also, don't forget to check out the John Moon Studios store. There's a variety of merch with the official John Moon Studios logo on it. So go ahead and check it out. As always, don't forget to share with your musician friends. I will see you guys soon.